Welcome to uh, Rev and Rip. I've got a 12-card uh, PSA submittal reveal here, and uh, this is the second time that I'm making this video. The first one got uh, broken up due to a phone call, so I'm just going to run through this here pretty quick. If you would, uh, like and subscribe the uh, the channel, and uh, appreciate it. We'll just go through. Here's a 1960 Herman Killebrew Tops. Uh, I thought this card looked uh, very well. I was expecting a 9 out of this card. Uh, just based on uh, previous submittals and, and what they look like. And unfortunately, he received a six. So that was uh, very disappointing on, on that. <clears throat> Here we uh, have a 1976 Topps Nolan Ryan. Uh, he is one of my favorite uh, players and cards to collect over the, uh, over the course of his career. Uh, this card is pretty well centered. It does have a little twist to it. Um, but you really don't find these cards looking any better than uh, this one right here. And unfortunately, this one also came back as a seven. I was expecting a uh, an, at a minimum an eight. Um, so there's that one. Here we have a uh, 75 tops uh, Mike Schmidt. And a lot of the uh, Mike Schmidt cards have this little black dot on them. Uh, it's a little off centered as well not that much and some uh edging issues and received a six on that schmidt uh 1970 tops oj simpson um i love these cards they're they're kind of bland with the uh the background of the uh the coloring there but the oj simpson card really stands out amongst all the others uh, on this card we got a uh a three I honestly thought that this card would get a uh, a five, but um, but yeah, I was uh, I'm, I'm good with a three. I'm not out anything um, based on sales comps and what I have in it. Uh, here's a 1970 duplicate there of a OJ Simpson rookie card. This one here, the corners are sharp. Obviously, it's miscut, and we received an eight um, miscut. So that is my uh, first qualifying submittal card and i was shocked with the uh, eight miscut and uh very pleased with it as well so i i thought this card would i thought this one would get a five or six and i, I thought this one would get the three um so shocked and pleased on that here's a 69 tops i consider this uh nolan Ryan's second year ricky just due to the fact that this is his first card with him solo on it um, I was looking for five and above on uh, this card, and we received a six. So, uh, yep, this is a profitable card here for me on what I have in the card. So, should be able to make a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars on that card. Anything above that is just bonus. Here's a seventy-two tops. Um, Bobby Bonds, uh, Barry Bonds's dad. This card purchased it. It is uh, symmetrical. Um, there are nines of this. I have not seen a 10. I was really hoping, uh, that the grader would, uh, pass through a 10 on such an old card and, uh, a notable figure in baseball and especially his son. But I am pleased with uh, the grade that I received. I did not think that it, it was any less than a, a nine and did receive a nine on this card and uh good looking card there of uh, Bobby Bonds. Here's a 69 tops, uh, Steve Carlton, long, longevity of a career, just like uh, Nolan Ryan here. This card is uh, sharp and clean, uh, just the centering is a little off, and this card received a seven. Uh, I was hoping for an eight, um, but we will take a seven. Here's a Joe Morgan 75 tops mini, and centering on this is, is spot on. And that's what I thought was uh, beneficial with this card. There is edging issues in the red. Um, and it does have a little fish eye here in the S. Um, but it received a seven. So I'm not out in anything on that card based on comps. Here's a 75 tops, Hank Aaron. I do like the 75 tops. Um, this one is a little top to bottom. Uh, left to right looks pretty daggone good. And the edging is... Uh, there's not much edging on this card either. Uh, very bold cards. 
Uh, it does have an ink spot here. This card received a seven. I was pleased with the seven. I have a, another 75 tops, Hank Aaron. This one does have left to right, top to bottom centering issues. Uh, no, no ink spots. Um, and the edging is a little cleaner on this one. So centering is a huge factor. Do have a little fish eye here between the E and the W. This card received a six, but happy with that card. Um, and then 79, uh, Nolan Ryan. This card has uh, some inking issues. The yellow, you can see, is coming through here, here, and here. Uh, centering is pretty good on this one, though. And But this one received a 7, so the inking was an issue uh, with that card. So that is the 12 card submittal that I have with PSA. And I've got... Uh, my son has 20 Pokemon cards in right now. Hopefully those pull a majority of 10s. And then also have a 30 card submittal from 19, mid, mid 80s, no, actually 1980. Uh, Ricky Henderson, rookie all the way up until about mid 90s. Um, baseball, football, and uh, basketball cards. So expecting those back towards the end of um, April, uh, maybe... 1st of May. PSA has been very fast uh, with their grading and returns. So if if you do want to submit something to PSA right now, here the past two, three months has been perfect prime time to uh, get a quick turnaround. So don't, don't feel obligated to pay for the additional cost uh, to get them returned um, back quicker. They, they are doing a, a faster turnaround. I would say, you know, if you do the 45 day or the 55 day, whatever that is, typically you're, you're getting them back within 40, uh, 35 to 40 days. So just a little over a month, about a month and a week, and you'll have your cards back. So appreciate your time. If you would like and subscribe. And uh, when we get our cards back, we'll do another one. Appreciate it.